Samsung Display showed off some unbelievable concepts. Let's take a look at them. First up, a disclaimer. This is footage from Samsung Display, and I have not seen any of these in person. So since these are all from the company, these devices are probably shown in their best light. Also, these are concepts. We'll have to see if any of them ever come to market. So let's start off with the Samsung Flex S. Samsung Display showed off two different sized models. Both models have two points where they can fold. When partially folded, the device has this sort of S shape. The Concept S device seems to unfold very quickly and snaps into a flat form. The smaller model had two folding points along with a transparent section on one edge and what looks like a camera array on the other. When folded up completely, the camera stays on the front with the part of the display visible through that transparent part on the back. That's a pretty smart design as the rear display would be usable but protected when placed on surfaces. Remember, these are concept devices, so they may never make it to market. That being said, TCL showed off a similar S-style device way back in March 2020, and I got to play with it. TCL's foldable had what the company called a dragon hinge. That device was a bit bulky, but it was operational. It was running Android and responded to inputs with a little bit of lag. So a working model is not impossible as we've seen in the past. Back to Samsung Display. It also showed off the Flex G. This also had two folding points, but the device folds in, sort of like a tri-fold wallet. Close the right side in first, then close the left side, boom. That display is now so tiny, you can put it in your pocket. Samsung says this is more durable since the display is protected, which makes plenty of sense. When folded up and looked at from the bottom, yeah, it kind of looks like a really stylized capital G. There's also the Flex Slidable. The name says it all. This tech was shown off in a phone-like device that looks pretty normal. Then, the person pulls out the right side of the bezel to reveal more screen. In the demo, the right side display shows off an app launcher. The left side scrolled content while the right side stayed static. Again, this is Samsung Display Video, so we don't know how well this works. Both LG and TCL have teased rollable phones in the past. That being said, LG is no longer in the phone game, so don't hold your breath for an LG rollable phone. As for TCL, I got to play with a dummy unit of its rollable back in 2020. There was a working model, but we were not allowed to get video of that. Considering Samsung's foldable phones are big business for the company, I would imagine we will see this tech in the market sooner rather than later. One of the wildest concepts is this one labeled AI speaker. A flexible OLED display is wrapped around a cylinder like a smart speaker. When you want more data, you can interact with an app on your phone. Then. The flexible display around the cylinder can expand to what Samsung says is a flat 12 inch display. It looks a little curved, but who cares? That being said, I can watch this thing open up over and over. Look at this. In the demo video, Samsung showed someone interacting with their phone to get medical information. The AI speaker opened up and acted as a video conferencing device. Will we ever see this kind of thing in the market? Maybe, remember, this is tech from Samsung Display, which sells its products to other companies. It could be really cool to see this display on an Amazon speaker, or maybe an Apple device, or maybe even a Dyson device, because Dyson does wacky things. Then there's the Flex Note technology. This concept brings foldable tech to a much larger scale. When unfolded, the display is 17 inches. When folded in the middle, it resembles a regular old laptop. Well, except there's a display instead of a keyboard on the bottom. Samsung Display says that when the device is folded up, it's about the size of a 13-inch laptop. This kind of technology is already available. Lenovo has a foldable PC called the ThinkPad X1 Fold. It's a tad bulky looking compared to the Samsung concept. The ThinkPad X1 Fold has a 13.3-inch screen. Larger foldable screens are coming sooner rather than later. Asus announced the ZenBook 17 Fold OLED. When it's unfolded, you've got a 17.3 inch OLED display. When folded, you've got a 12.5 inch display. In its demo video, Asus showed the device working with an external keyboard, which can sit on the bottom screen in case you don't want to type on a virtual keyboard. The ZenBook 17 Fold looks sleek compared to Lenovo. I really like where Samsung Display is going with its tech and cannot wait for this stuff to find its way into mainstream products one day. Oh, Samsung Display even had a little demo video touting durability. Its flexible displays are rated for 300,000 folds at room temperature 
and 30,000 folds at a temperature of negative 20 degrees Celsius. That's negative four Fahrenheit. Keep in mind, 32 degrees Fahrenheit is freezing. Now remember to hit all the buttons, like, subscribe, and that notification bell so you can be the first to know when we've got new videos. Which display concept do you want to see in the real world first? Let us know. I'm Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you online.